Hey everyone, I want to point out that sometimes people post solutions for Cypress uh, problems that work but are not optimal. In this example, notice that the first checkbox is disabled and only the two checkboxes, two and three, are enabled. And the question is how do we click on them to check them using Cypress. The solution that uh, is shown right here is this. You get all the checkbox inputs, you filter them using not command, and you filter the ones that have the attribute disabled, and then you use site click with multiple true option, because by default site click only clicks a single argument. I have this solution working in this example, so the same HTML markup, and then I'm saying get me all the checkboxes, and filter the disabled ones by attribute and then click multiple. If I don't have click multiple, then site click fails. There is a better way. First of all, instead of clicking, notice we're trying to check checkboxes. So there is a site check command specifically for that. And if there are multiple elements right there, no problem. It will check each one in turn. That's it. Same thing just use available API. The second thing that we can do is we can avoid splitting the command into site get, site not, and then check. You can find all enabled checkboxes using the jQuery colon enable selector. Cypress uses jQuery under the hood. The jQuery provides additional selectors on top of standard CSS selectors. Okay, selects the two checkboxes and then checks each one in turn. That's it. That's the whole example. To find more examples like this, check out my Gleb Pachmutov slash Cypress examples website that I will link in the description of this video.